they were, we did good. You know, offense did good. Uh, obviously, we we need to make some. Uh, we had some mistakes that we can improve on, and we're going to do that through camp. Anybody impress you? Surprise you at all today? JT Washington. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That kid is. Uh, he's going to be a good player for us. I'm, I'm excited to see him play. We're going against a very good offense, and you're going against someone that's very capable of being, you know starting on any Pac-12 team, you know every week. So. Um, like I said, just work hard, learn from your mistakes, and uh, you're going to get great conversation every week in practice. So, you know, it's a good thing, but like I said, we got to play better. Uh, and it's hard with the young guys because the young guys, they really don't know what they don't know. And our coach, I got a good, really good defensive staff, and, and they'll, they'll do all they can to get out of it. But, you know, you can try to grind them to the nub, but that's not always the best solution. We just got to set, make sure they understand our expectations and, and uh, how we want our program to be viewed when people play us. No, it really schemes. depends on the experience, probably, in regards to the scheme. Usually the more experienced unit is ahead of the other at this point in camp, and that's certainly true now for us. So, you know, that's probably a big part of it. I mean, we've got a lot more um, guys that have played, but it's, you know, it's still a new system to it all. But, you know, when you're teaching, I saw, so if you remember the spring, I said in the spring, not only are you teaching the scheme, but for young kids, you're teaching fundamentals. I'm talking about blocking and tackling and getting off blocks. And so, you know, there's, that's, that's the problem when you play so many young kids that they've got to learn the scheme and they also got to learn fundamentals. So that's the hard part. Any pleasant surprises today? No, I don't, you know, not really. I think I'll know more after watching the film. We, we, we will, uh, coaches probably will watch it uh, either late tonight or tomorrow morning. And then we'll watch it with our players tomorrow afternoon. So I have a little better judge. It's hard for me, especially because I'm standing right out on the field with them. It's hard for me to really get a few a real good judgment, especially on the linemen. JT likes to he, he likes to push that circle button on that PlayStation and spin every time. You know, you know, and he's got some natural good moves, but he sometimes he just needs to stick his foot in the ground and go north and south. But he's a fun kid and uh, he's learning quickly. And you know, we've got some pretty good backs, but you know, I think he's going to have a really good future here. Well, I heard it's been a little warm in Tucson. You know, and we got lucky with the rain. We didn't have a uh, it rained at all, no, no lightning at all. So there was nothing in our schedule that got interrupted. And uh, we had a great dinner last night with, with uh, the soldiers and uh, some of the commanders here. So, you know, the trip has gone as smoothly as we, we could have hoped probably. So something you want to do next year? Yeah, okay. yeah, I may, I may make a few adjustments here and there, but I mean, as far as the layout and the support and the, and the, uh, the way things happen, it gave us a little bit of more of a camp atmosphere than you get on campus, so I enjoyed it. I don't know if the players did, but they seem to be all right.